Hi everyone, this is Jelena from Amazonia PPC and today I'm going to talk to you about competition on Amazon. A lot of sellers when they do their product research they take into consideration uh, some of the most uh, close competitors ASIN's BSR ranking. Um, they look at BSR uh, rank and then they see how it compares to certain ranges that they want to fit in. And then that's what they take into consideration when um, they are deciding which product they want to private label. But when it comes to competition in general on the markets, um, you, should take a high, you should take a much wider point of view, meaning um, that competition means um, that not only people who are bidding on the same keywords as you want to bid on, but also how it affects you know, your PPC campaigns and also how it affects your overall performance so the, the easiest way to ex uh, explain this is on example like you know when you do your product research and when you do product development and then you start thinking okay how should i improve one of the dimensions of a certain product that i want to sell um, you start uh, also exploring about what keywords are there what's the search volume for those keywords uh, normally and then you estimate if there's like enough demand um, and enough competition, um, as low competition as possible uh, for that product to go into that market. But basically, um, I'm, I have an example here that I wanted to share with you, which is a keyword that's called cat scratching uh, cover for couch. And it's a basically a keyword, you know, that um, targets all these products that are like covers that you can stick to your couch to prevent your cat from scratching it and from destroying your furniture. So that's like a product that's very popular. But um, basically, you know, you, what, what we can see over here is that there's competition, various types of uh, different, probably dimensions, probably um, different colors maybe even, or different offerings in terms of how many pieces are offered there and, you know, uh, different pricing and uh, different uh, social proof all of these products have and my point is that when you're looking at the specific product that all of them are fighting for the specific keyword you can notice that here um, there's this another competitor that's fighting for this keyword through a sponsor brands ad now what does this mean this means that you know this uh, this seller over here actually was wise enough to recognize that they have a competition that's much wider than what their product is. Basically, what, um, what you should consider when you are considering through doing a product research and considering whether that's a good product for you to sell, um, you should think of uh, what problem your product is solving that there are other products that are solving that same problem. That's the question that you should ask yourself if there are other products that can solve the same problem. Here we have a typical example of two different products and I'm pretty sure that there's even more products that solve the same problem. So people have a problem where their furniture is being destroyed by their pets and you know people have come up with two different approaches to solving this problem. One of them is a cat scratching post and the other one is the cover that's like a protection for furniture which basically prevents both of these both of these things are oriented towards preventing pets from destroying your furniture but they actually have two different approaches. So one uh, approach will appeal to one portion of that demographic that you're targeting but at the same time the other uh, product will appeal even more to that uh, same audience. The problem here is that you are fighting for the same audience. So not in all cases, you know, people will be willing to buy two different products to say to solve the same problem. So, uh, you know, to see the, the difference here is that you have like two different sellers selling two different products fighting for one customer. That's where competition really comes into place. That's how you really should look at competition. So ideally, when you're doing your product research, if you know BSR metrics make sense to you, this is like an additional layer of questions that you should ask yourself if there's any other type of product in the universe of products that can cover and solve the same problem. If there is a lot of uh, different products that can solve that same problem, you should ask yourself um, if your customers, potential customers, would be willing to purchase 
many different versions uh, of solutions of that problem. Like for example, maybe someone wants to be, you know, super safe and they want to both have like a cat scratching post and at the same time they want to cover their furniture to be like super safe. But at the same time, if you're selling, you know, a massager that's like a curve massager, maybe uh, someone is looking for a ball massager. Basically, it's two different types of massagers. And, and you know for sure that there's like thousands of different types of massagers that someone can get and massagers as uh, tools to do that. But at the same time, if you're selling to that average customer who does massage to himself, certain areas of the back that hurt or, or something like that, they will maybe, you know, buy one massager and they'll stop if it fits. Maybe they'll consider buying another one if this first one didn't work at all and it wasn't the right approach. But, you know, uh, that's like just like a comparison between the two where you can see that the first one isn't really um, first case. In first case, we have uh, a situation where someone would actually consider being uh, safe, super safe, when on the other hand, if someone would, if we're talking about massagers, maybe someone wouldn't be so open of purchasing it twice. So that's what you should think of, for example, if someone's ready to, uh, if your customers are ready to buy uh, twice from you. So uh, these are the things that, you know, for example, are in the back end of doing PPC, for example, we target keywords that are very different you know uh, keywords that target uh, furniture covers for cat scratching um, protection are very very different from cat scratching posts but at the same time you know these these two keyword universes they are targeting the same audience which is the problem that cuts your conversion rates in half basically if if you are not in that niche where people are ready to buy multiple products that are, you know, either cheap or have any kind of other competitive advantage. So this is something that you should keep in mind doing your product research, but also when you're doing your PPC, just knowing what to expect. And in cases that you're getting, you know, with product launches, 200% ACoS that just doesn't drop over time, then maybe this is the reason. Um, maybe you should uh, reconsider, reverse engineer your product research methods and little step up with the competitive research game. Thank you for watching and I hope that this was useful and it was an eye opener for you. Bye bye.